lifetime best under the magical 11 second barrier. And these are the final few moments before the athletes enter the stadium. They'd have ticked over from the semi-final to the final, kept themselves warm, had a chit chat with their coaches. And Elaine Thompson here, the Jamaican, will start in lane number four. She's never won an individual Commonwealth Games gold medal. She's never won an individual Commonwealth medal of any colour, Elaine Thompson here. And in just a few moments' time, she'll line up with seven other athletes from the Commonwealth to try and change that statistic. Representation, of course, across all of the nations. The fastest women in the Commonwealth are ready to rock and roll. Can England's Daryl Nita win a gold medal? Can Thompson Hira win the gold medal? Will it be Nigeria's night? The Bahamas, St. Lucia. Here's your start list. The women's 100 meter final start list, lanes one to eight. And the whole of Alexander Stadium are anticipating fire here this evening. Super fast times were done in qualifying. Only one athlete went under the 11 second barrier. That was England's Daryl Nita. The fastest qualifier will start in lane number five. Well, the pyrotechnics go off. Natalia White of Jamaica, 10.97 seconds this year. Qualified with 11.17 seconds in the semi-final. The 24-year-old will line up in lane number one. In lane number two for the Bahamas, Tynia Gaither, a semi-finalist at the Olympics last year, also ran 11.17 seconds in the semi-final. The Bahamas being represented in lane number two. In lane number three for Nigeria, Rosemi Chukwuma. Commonwealth relay bronze in 2018. 10.99 seconds at her best, just outside 11 seconds to qualify for this semi-final. Lane four, Elaine Thompson here, the fastest woman alive. Five times an Olympic champion. She starts in lane four. A huge draw for Daryl Nita of England in lane number five. The fastest qualifier, 10.90 seconds. The second fastest British woman of all time. Starts next to Thompson here and in five. In lane six, Julian Alfred of St Lucia. Second fastest in qualifying for this final, 11.04 seconds. 10.81 at her best. Lane seven, Zoe Hobbs of New Zealand, a semi-finalist at the recent World Championships in Oregon. 11.15 to qualify for this final, just shy of her lifetime best. And completing the lineup in this women's 100 meter final, she'll start in lane number eight, Grace Unwo Oku Ocha, the Nigerian national champion. 11.06 in the semi-final, 10.97 at her best. So the women's 100 meter final, White, Gaither, Chokwuma, Thompson Hira, Nita, Alfred, Hobbs, Unawacha Ocha of Nigeria. Oh, Silence falls across the Alexander Stadium. The final event here at quarter to 10 here in the UK. And will it end with gold for Jamaica or England or Nigeria? Eight athletes, one race, one Commonwealth gold medal. Absolute silence. Set. Well, it's a clean start, it's a pretty even start as well. The Nigerian going well in lane number three. Thompson here, though, the Jamaican running well in lane number four. Elaine Thompson here takes the gold medal here in Berlin. 10.95 seconds.
the five-time Olympic champion, the one and 200 meter champion in Rio and Tokyo at the Olympic Games, the athlete that had never won an individual Commonwealth medal at all, takes the gold here. The second all time delivers here in Birmingham, 10.95 seconds. That's confirmed as the gold. Let's keep an eye on the positions in terms of silver and bronze. Alfred was running nicely, and indeed, Julien Alfred of St. Lucia, 11.01 seconds. And a roar for Darryl.